Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an N-Scale GP38 locomotive from Atlas. My example is decorated in the Central Oregon and Pacific gray and red scheme and is equipped with an NCE DCC decoder. Atlas offers these locomotives in other paint schemes as well. The model has an MSRP of $159.95. I got my engine for $102.39 from a popular online retailer. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The engine comes in a plastic jewel case. The model is surrounded by foam. Additional foam inserts protect the handrails. The model fits very tightly and can be a little difficult to extract, but it's still a good box that should protect the engine for storage and transport. I did some research and found pictures of the Real Corp 3824 from 2007. The paint job on the model matches the photos pretty well. The real engine has an angled air filter box on the roof ahead of the dynamic brake fan instead of a squared off one as on the model. In addition, the dynamic brake bulge is slightly different and there's a side mounted bell on the engineer's side. The prototype engine also has an older GP35 style inertial filter grill on the fireman's side. These and a few other small discrepancies are hard to see at this small scale. I'm guessing that most people won't be too bothered by them, so I'm letting them go. In 2007, the real engine had ditch lights front and rear that are not present on the model. This is something that is noticeable in N-Scale, and a number of other N-Scale locomotives have working ditch lights, so I'm taking five points for that. The paint on the model is evenly applied and thin enough not to obscure detail. Some of the lettering is not quite opaque, though this isn't too noticeable from normal viewing distances. There are some small voids in the white stripe which are also not too noticeable. The stripe is not quite straight on the fireman's side around the blower duct. I'm taking five points for that. Most of the detail on the model is molded on. I like how the handrails are not overly thick as on some other N-scale engines. On the ends, the model has molded on uncoupling levers and MU hoses. It also has footboards, which is incorrect for a Corp GP38. These look like separate parts, so they shouldn't be too hard to remove. In back, the model has molded on grab irons. On top, the model has a separate horn casting. All of the other detail is molded on, but the fans actually look pretty good. With some weathering, the blades inside would really stand out. Underneath, the detail is minimal. The model picks up current from all eight wheels, and all four axles are powered. The body-mounted Accumate coupler on the front end is high according to the Microtrain's height gauge. The rear coupler is at the correct height. All the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model has no noticeable body wobble, which is great. The engine weighs 2.7 ounces. An NCE non-sound DCC decoder comes pre-installed, so I am testing the engine on DCC. The locomotive peaks at 0.5 ounces of drawbar pull on my force gauge. The front and rear headlights are activated with the F0 key and are directional. The number boards light up with the headlights. There is a little bit of headlight glow inside the cab when the forward light is on. The engine ran a bit rough at first, but smoothed out after a few minutes of break-in. On my Digitrax system, it doesn't start moving until the throttle knob is around 35%. That may be adjustable with CV programming. Other than setting the address, I didn't change any of the programming. There is a bit of gear noise, but nothing too objectionable. So let's take a look at what we've got. The model had no working ditch lights, so I took five points in the prototype accuracy category. Some of the striping was not quite straight, so I took five points in the paint and detail category. The model had one low coupler, so I took five points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 85 out of 100 possible points, which would be a B on a report card. Overall, this is a nice locomotive, and I feel very comfortable giving it a green signal. Like most Atlas engines, this is a nice running model that comes equipped with DCC. If you're modeling the Southern Oregon area, or would like some interesting run-through power, then you might want to check out this model.